And the Bahubali moment is here, a moment that India has been waiting for the last four years. Chandrayaan-3 has taken off from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. The satellite has now been injected into the desired orbit to begin Plus its journey seconds. to the moon. Now a large number of people and students gathered at the space center to witness this historic launch. Now, meanwhile, Prime Minister Modi has uh, hailed the launch and uh, congratulated the scientists for their dedication, saying that Chandrayaan-3 has scripted a new chapter in India's space odyssey. Well, with me is the ISRO chairman, Mr. S. Somnath. We spoke a few days ago. I spoke about how you know the country is waiting for this launch, and today we've seen a successful launch. In fact, people across the world and every everyone is looking at India today. In fact, the prime minister in France was following all the updates of what's happening here. Uh, how is the mood among the you know team at this point in time? Uh, we are very happy and proud of what we did. Uh, we were very confident of what we are trying to do. Uh, it's a LVM3 which has done uh, successfully well in the last many missions. So the same rocket with much more features of reliability are incorporated because we are slowly getting into human rating of uh, rocket. So we cannot afford to have any failure. Yeah. So it is becoming better every day. So again, the, the Chandrayaan craft is also becoming better from last time. A lot of changes to improvements to make it land safely is also incorporated. So. Uh, whatever we wanted is already accomplished. So it's the phase one is done. Uh, if you could uh, tell us at this point in time, what will be the critical phases now going towards the moon in the next few days? Of course, August 23rd is a big day. Before that, what are the critical no, phases? Many, many stages. First, it has to, we have to fire the engine. So the engine on the land, uh, orbit propulsion module should work very well. The control system should work very well. And we should be able to raise the orbit slowly without entering into Earth, because it is very close to Earth, 170 kilometer only. Yeah. So unless it, we are able to raise it in our next one, uh, one or two orbit, we, the mission is out. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that we have put it correctly. We have to further activate everything. All electronics should work, all el sensors should work. So this process is going to happen. Power generation we are checking. So many things are happen going to happen. Then slowly raise it by 1st August, we will go to moon. Yeah. And that travel will take about four or five days. Yeah. Then we'll reach moon and capture on the moon. Mm -hmm. Then remaining activities will take place. So finally, I'll have to ask you, when it lands, so what are we planning to gather from the moon surface and also I think we are multiple uh, you know payloads will uh, you know capture many uh, aspects of the moon so tell us a few uh, points especially for the viewers to understand what are we learning here from the lunar surface see we are trying to learn the mineral nature of the surface of the moon what is it constituent elements are by a very very interesting uh, spectroscopic instruments two of them we are also trying to study the seismological characteristic we are also looking at the lower atmosphere of the moon so these are essentially the type of instruments which will give a lot of information and the science part will come a little later okay last question sir this does this open up, uh, you know, your, uh, uh, you know, your uh, freely for ISRO to go ahead with other projects as well because you have Aditya on the cards, your Gaganyan as well. Yeah. So uh, it, it, does this free up your mind as far as? No, no, that we, are, we, we know how to handle multiple projects at the same time. This yeah. is not one project that we are working on. Yeah. Currently, at Sri Kota, two other rockets are getting integrated for two other launches. So and another for Gaganyan work is going on. So right now in Shar, five launch campaigns are going on. One of them only just got launched, and I am coming back next week for the next launch. Okay, so this so, is just the beginning. It's just a uh, routine work, but then challenging, interesting, yeah. and ca captivating for all of us. Always nice to speak to you, sir. Thank you so much, and congratulations once again. Big day today, sir. So if so you could much. give us some, uh, you know, uh, today, how is the mood like um, uh, among, uh, you know, the, uh, the scientists? Because you met all of them, sir. Just a quick, uh, quick answer. Quick answer sir. No, no, how, I, how is the mood I, no, today? No, as you yourself saw, the yeah. mood is upbeat. And ins interestingly, incidentally, not only in the scientific fraternity, yeah. but across the country, yeah. across all sections of society, from from children to youth to elder citizens, they feel proud. They feel as if they have achieved something. They have achieved a, 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 they, there's a sense of uh, having attained supremacy in yeah. the world arena, R rightly so. Yeah. Because today, this heralds the beginning of India's wider global role Absolutely. in the world arena and the emerging world scenario of the 21st century. And this has been possible because in the last few years, the government has worked very hard yeah. to create an enabling milieu. Yeah. And I'm glad I must thank Prime Minister Modi has been very supportive about it. Yeah. Till few years back, nobody thought that space could, sector could open for the private place. This yeah. place where we are sitting was forbidden. Yeah. Yeah. You guys could, were hardly allowed in. Now you have such a huge crowd of media over here. Whereas uh, earlier on it was not so, uh, some, a brief press note would be sent out. So this has brought all the stakeholders together, yeah. supplemented the resources, both the knowledge resources as well as the, uh, the, the financial sources. Even today's mission, we have a huge contribution from the industry happening. 
and I think that is a great contribution by this government. Yeah. The resources were there, the, the assets were there, but yeah. they were not being put to right use. So talking about the government, you know, when you have a setback like what happened in 2019, it's easy to, you know, say that probably we cannot, but to bounce back from that, there's a lot of effort that's needed even from the government, a push that's needed. Uh, you know, the government, uh, you've been saying, and the Prime Minister Modi that has been given, uh, you know, uh, how much of that has helped really in today's uh, successful launch? I, I think the first, first and foremost, Prime Minister Modi has always been forthcoming. Yeah. Never for a minute or for anything has he relented or been discouraging. B, Chandrayaan 2 was not a failure in, in the strict sense because we did land. Only thing, the, the things did not go as we had envisaged. So our rover is there, some of the, some of the findings have been gathered. Yeah. But all the outcomes that we had planned were not accomplished in totality. Yeah. And so learning from that, even otherwise, even after a successful mission, there is a tendency to learn, even from the successful mission. Sometimes it occurs to you, oh, look at this is a pitfall, we should not have been there, next time I will see it is not there. Yeah. So moving on from there, now we have a very foolproof yeah. uh, mission which has been sent, taking care of all these things which might not have, which might have been overlooked in Chandrayaan 2, plus also adding some yeah. of the supplements which, which uh, uh, would have taken otherwise quite some time to be added on. So finally, August 23rd is the D-Day, is what we are, uh, 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 what we've been told. Can we expect you and the Prime Minister to be there on that day? Did you see the launch? Like, did you see Chandrayaan flying into the sky? How does it feel to you? It just feels it's legendary to be able to be here. My heart was racing as the countdown began and then seeing it fly up and just upward away from the planet is just insane. I'm so glad. 10,000 of us have witnessed it today and I have no doubt it has made incredible our happiness actually we cannot express in words because all the countries they have gone for this kind of launches but uh, only speciality of our country present launch chandrayaan 3 nobody no country in this world have tried to launch our lander in the south pole of lunar i was very happy it was immense pleasure to watch the chandrayaan lift up and go to sky and i wasn't expecting i'm very happy to see people are so enthusiastic about the uh, space sector now that the Even at this temperature, everyone is there to, to cheer the crowd to watch the mission, so it was very, very joyful experience. Yeah. Physically, checking in how low it looks like, previously we watched it in TVs like in 2019, but this is the first time uh, seeing it like live and the vibrations when it took off and it went off the clouds, uh, the vibrations actually, you know, uh, I had really goosebumps when countdown has ended for the launch of the LBM-3, the rocket that is of course going to take our dreams to the moon. This is of course the lunar mission that we're talking about. You see right there in front of me, dreams of a billion Indians taking off as we look to write a new chapter in the Indian space odyssey. More importantly, of course, after the failure of Chandrayaan-2, many have been hoping that this day is you know, in front of us very soon and it is right now happening right in front of our eyes as we see this humongous rocket. Any time now, of course, you would look at, you know, a small separation of sorts as it leaves the Earth's atmosphere and you can see, of course, the crackling sound and it uh, somewhere it shows you the, the prowess of ISRO, the efforts that the scientists have put in, all of that bearing fruit in this successful launch up until now that we are looking at. And in a few days from now, the 23rd of August is when we are expecting the satellite with the lander and the rover to reach the surface of the moon, to achieve the soft landing that was, of course, evasive last time around. As we look at these dramatic visuals, it is a reminder that ISRO and as Indians, we can achieve any milestone that we dream of. And while, of course, many countries like the United States, like the Russians, and of course the Chinese in the recent past have been, you know, carrying out multiple lunar missions, this, of course, is the time where India writes its own history.